Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel here at Bobby's Girl Tarot 444. These are going to be weekly messages for the first week of June for my uh, Sagittarians out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. You and your partner, okay? Now, you, if you're not with a partner, this is a new potential partner that's coming in. So, um, if you are with a partner, let's see what's going on with them, all right? Saggies, hope y'all are doing good. This first week of June, getting ready for that summertime, summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. You just sit back and unwind. Someone wants to sit back and unwind. <laughs> Uh, Sag, all right, let's see, you and your partner, what should you focus on the first week of June, all right, for you, Sagittarius, and your partner, yeah, so DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, so maybe when somebody wants a fresh start, I don't know, let's see, let's get into this, tell me what Sag needs to know about themselves this week, and their partner. Oh, all right, we got two cards already out here. So we've got surprise and change. All right, so you might want to check Taurus's read because they got surprise also. So a surprise is coming in for you, Sagittarius, you or your person, or this is a new partner that's coming in here. So it could be something that you have been expecting, but they're asking you to release the expectations and be open to a surprise. We've got change. Ch -ch -ch changes so something's changing here or, or something needs to change a resistance and it could be releasing that expectation a resistance to change is a resistance to life itself open your heart and mind to new beginnings so it's saying get out of your head get into your heart okay be open to new beginnings new experiences okay a, a, a whole new world a whole new life for somebody out there it's going to be a whole new life well, this is good. I like this start, Sag. Howdy doody. All right. <laughs> Let's, what are uh, your current feelings and emotions? What are your partner's uh, current feelings and emotions regarding this uh, surprising change that's coming your way? All right. Let's see. <laughs> what is it? Wow, I'm liking this, Sag, so far. I like Tauruses, too. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. I, I, are you dealing with a Taurus? Are you dealing with an earth sign, fire sign? What? Let's see. Tell me about um, Sagittarius and their person. What is their current feelings? All right. Okay. So we've got mental conflict. Didn't I just say get out of your head? Get out of your head. <laughs> Get out of my dreams. Somebody wants to get into your dreams or somebody's dreaming about you, Sag, or you're dreaming about somebody here. A lot of disruptions. This is like the, the tower coming into this disruption here. The big change, transformation, feeling conflicted. You know, uh, maybe this is like a <clears throat> going against and resisting that change. You know, that a little stubbornness energy, okay? Feeling conflicted, stuck in your head, not sure which way to go, okay? Whether you wind your wa or wind your butt or scratch your watch here, okay? So it's saying, get into your heart. Get out of that mental conflict. This could be around partnerships. The number 16 could be significant here. Uh, whether it is romantic or platonic or uh, um, career-related, financially related, okay? It's uh, around two individuals. This could just be with family. This could be with friends, okay? This could be other people's opinions stuck in your head. To get out of that okay um and it's saying allow this tower to fall allow things to fall into place <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> all right let's get a couple tarot on here what are the current feelings and emotions for Sagittarius and this, uh, their partner currently, or their new potential partner that's coming in. What are their current feelings, uh, emotions? What do they need to know? For Sag. Ooh, yes, a new beginning coming in, an offer. With the Knight of Pentacles here, something that's stable. It's very slow moving though, or it's been a slow moving process. Slow ride, 
take it easy. So this person is trying to take it easy, and it's been a slow ride for this person. Now, this may be you, Sag. It's just been slow, okay? Maybe it's slow building up finances. You're worried about, you know, feeling left out. Uh, also, there could be, like, uh, fears around, you know, abandonment here or uh, just being left out in the cold. Also, like, uh, your, your fears around money, your fears around that lack mentality, okay? Also, uh, maybe a, a job, okay? Maybe you've had a recent job, okay? You don't have much. So it's looking for new employment, all right? Let's see. Let me get some more here. Now, you could be dealing with a um, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Like I just said, are you dealing with an earth sign over here? This new beginning here. Somebody's got a lot of love to give or somebody wants to offer some love. This could be just something that you love. Somebody wants to partner up with you or you want to partner up with someone else in something that you love and this person both loves you want to celebrate. Now, this could also be some of you Sagittarius are out there have a, a new child and you're celebrating that or um, there could be a, a wedding here coming together. This could also just be going out and, you know, having a good time. Maybe your friends want to get to get out with you. OK, you don't have a whole lot of money. So it's, you know, your friends putting putting the bill here. This is about harvesting and uh, growth. All right. The letter M or letter W could be significant. I feel like it, you need to purify your energy right now. Now, this is you or this is your person. Reverse the roles, okay? It's not going to be for all of you. You could be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer, Scorpio, or um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what Sagittarius' partner is doing over here. Sagittarius' partner is looking for peace. They need rest. They need time to think. All right? Let's see. They also feel like they're stuck. They could be blocked off or they feel like they're blocked. That's tower. Well, you got double towers over here with this person. So something, uh, something's happening, very significant. And there's there could be worry, like I said, around making this decision around this tower occurring. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries also. Where is this here? Oh, fate, wheel of fortune. Okay, so this is like a, something that needs to occur, something that's meant to occur. Spinning the karmic wheel, all about karma. This could be a force change since there's double towers here. If you're resisting this change, Sag, or your partner is resisting this change due to uh, a lot of swords here, communication, uh, co feeling conflicted, feeling like uh, uh, you're at a crossroads here, okay? Also feeling like uh, it's taken blind faith to make this change. Or someone needs to take some faith here. Take that leap. Also feel like you don't want to make any foolish moves. You or this person. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with a Leo. Let's see. What else? Let's see. What are they? What's hidden? If this is somebody from your past, what's hidden right now? You're doing so well here. Celebrate good times. Come on. Somebody, wants, somebody could be drinking a lot. Like I said, but they're worried about their finances. But maybe they're indulging a little bit and, and too much partying because of confliction here. Feeling stuck in their head. Wow. Okay. Well, that one wanted to fly out. They'll wait for a sign for you from you. Okay, so if this is somebody from their from your past, Sag, they want to wait for a sign from you, or you're waiting for a sign from them. Okay, they could be watching you, watching and waiting, watching and waiting. They look for you everywhere. Now they could be looking for you while they're out out and about. Okay, they could also be looking for you in different partners and can't find anyone like you. Okay, so just uh, yeah, this person could have abandonment issues here. There could be some insecurities that this person needs to deal with or that you are dealing with here. But, uh, yeah, this person's looking for you and, and they're waiting for a sign. They're waiting for that green light, the go ahead, okay? So if you, if you want this, give them a green light. Tell them to take the next step. 
You know, there's slow moving energy over here. Let's see. Um, what to expect? What news to expect this week, Tor? Um, Sagittarius. I keep saying Taurus. You must be dealing with a Taurus or an Earth sign here. Sorrow over a loss. So someone's had a recent loss. This could be a financial loss that you are working through, Sagittarius, working on building back your coin. Okay. I also see like you went from five to one. You got one coin left here. Now, if you have recently experienced the loss of an individual, I, you know, my sympathies, my condolences to you for that. Okay. Family sorrow. There's coming out. So um, I'm very sorry for your loss. It could be somebody in your family or somebody close to you that's like family, somebody that you celebrated with. Um, this is, could be what's keeping, you know, things from not progressing and moving forward here. September could be significant or you could be dealing with a Virgo. I feel like... Um, Somebody's very emotional right now over here. Triumph over troubles and obstacles. Sag, okay. So it's time to spread your wings and fly. And this could also be about you leaving home and leaving the nest, okay? Maybe there's worries and fears around that, a family situation. Uh, it doesn't have to be a physical loss. It could just be you leaving a unit, whether it is friends or it's family, leaving things behind and, uh, you know, moving forward into a new experience here, okay? Let's see. Tell me about Sag's partner. Like I said, reverse these roles, okay? Because this may, may not be your energy, Sag. This may be your person's energy over here. Okay? It's all about energy. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. This is somebody uh, holding a torch for you or you holding a torch for someone else. This is also someone, you know, gaining that enlightenment, taking that rest period, Okay? trying to find inner peace, okay, and understand how, how to move forward, which way to go. All right, we've got a goal-oriented person, so it's saying get on target over here in order to uh, add more happiness here and, you know, focus on your well-being. This could be about your son. You could be a son. Bullseye. Somebody's toying around. All right, announcement is coming in here with the bells. Bells will be ringing. Oh, what? I don't know why. Something happened during Christmas time. So, yeah, we've got a lot of trees here. So, nature, grounding yourself here, affairs with your family, making this announcement about you know, possibly branching off, moving away. And it is sad, especially if, you know, this you're going to school, you're moving to a different state, you're moving to a different city, you're moving to a different country. This is causing a lot of conflict between friends and family and confidants and coworkers here. Um, let's say a successful, you have a successful um, outcome to your problem here with the bridge and the sun. So protection from a powerful friend. So maybe you have a friend that is just against you, you know, leaving your sit current situation. But it's, um, it could be somebody that, a man, it could be a father figure. It could be an older brother. It could be an uncle. It could be a cousin. Take it as it resonates here. They could be like in dark energy. Just because it's a dark man. I mean, they ha could have, you know, a difference in complexion. It's going to be different for all of you. But true happiness comes from within. And uh, that's what they want you to know here, Sag, that don't depend on somebody else for your happiness. You need to find your own happiness. Okay. Wow. This is a little bit heavy. It was starting out really good, Sag. What? All right. Let's see. Let's get some advice for you here. Advice for the week for Sag and their partner. Advice for uh, Sag and their partner for the first week of June. T uh, time to breathe out with the disseminating moon. Step out of your comfort zone. So it's time to get out of your comfort zone. You've been, uh, you know, interlocked, I hear, into this family situation, this family dynamic, okay? Three or more. So uh, some of you may be an only child. I'm just going to put that one out there. So that could be also, you know, somebody doesn't 
want their son to leave or somebody doesn't want their daughter to leave, okay, because it's an only child and and, and there's sorrow over this, but a win-win outcome is forecast. You could be dealing with the Libra or this is you just uh, getting out of your comfort zone, stepping into new experiences in order to be more happy, balance yourself out, okay? Let's see. Sagittarius partner. The energy is gaining momentum. It's saying to meditate and contemplate over here. Fishy, fishy. So you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Libra. We also have time to give rather than take here. And I feel like this is more giving to yourself. You constantly give to others, but you uh, you neglect your own needs, okay? So you could be dealing with a Virgo. It's saying the end of a tough cycle approaches. So, uh, you know, this is not the end is what it's saying. It's the end of a cycle, not end of a current situation. In order to allow something uh, new to begin here, bring love into this situation here. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Libra, or an Aquarius here. It could be in a, it could be just a, a healing period. Okay, it's time, you know, there's a, a time for peace and a time for healing. To everything, turn, turn, turn. So that song may be re relative to you, Sag. Okay, let's see. Advice here for the week. June, first week of June for Sag and their partner or their potentially new partner here, okay? So we've got creative, it's saying to get creative. Life is a canvas for you uh, to use. Paint all the colors of happy moods. So this is what, what makes you happy. Your life is a canvas and they're saying get creative. Um, use your ideas and focus on what makes you happy and your well-being. What's going to you know, uh, bring more spark into your life. Sparks fly. Taylor Swift. That song may be significant. Rose Quartz Crystal. Crystal? I don't know. Rose Quartz Crystal. Soothing and warm like love that flows. Once under your pillow, your magic grows. So maybe uh, putting Rose Quartz, a Rose Quartz Crystal under your pillow, okay, will um, help you with that love flow, okay? and help you uh, sleep well at night. Maybe you're not sleeping very well at night. Celebrate. The time is right to shout out loud. Don't hesitate to jump around. So it's time to, you know, celebrate yourself. Celebrate your own life and your own happiness here. And maybe you are a builder or you're just wanting to build somewhere else. Butterflies. Whenever you see butterfly flutter through the grass, it's a reminder of the love uh, of those who've passed. And if you have recently experienced a loss, like I said, my condolences, my sympathies to you. Uh, you may be seeing a lot of butterflies, white butterflies here. I also feel like uh, uh, the color red is significant here. Orange, red and orange are significant to you this week. So take that as, you know, as it resonates, it's passion. Do what makes you passionate. Follow your desires in this situation, okay? All right, Sag, those are the messages I have for you for the first week of June. Hopefully they resonated. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I appreciate all your love and support for my channel. I thank you guys so much and hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.